Hey guys. Hey, um, I think I mentioned earlier I was going to do a product review on that uh, those Avignon 12 by 11 inch double framed uh, Connie Bear traps. Now, I started, I kept track of everything and um, we have a total of, this is all the checkings, 102 of the Savignos were checked and 221 of the regular Connie Bears, that's the Dukes and the older Connie Bears that I had. So over the whole course of the open water checking, we had, uh, like I said, 102 checks of the Savigno traps, 221 of the regulars. Now of those, so there was 117 beaver, 27 rats, and 2 mink since the season opened up. And that was between all the traps. Now, I didn't keep track of the how many beaver were caught in the Savignos and in the others, but the rats in the Savignos was 24 and both mink and there was only three traps out of 102 that were sprung and empty. Remember I did have the two um, beavers by the front foot and, and rung off. Now out of the 221 checks on the other traps there was three rats caught and 39 sprung empty traps. Now that is a huge difference. That's less than half the number of checks on this, the, those new traps and only three empty traps compared to 39 empty on the other ones. But the big number is 24 rats, two mink. And so you look at Basically, it's fairly close with the number of traps that didn't have beaver in them, even though it was only half as many um, traps being checked, but a total of 29 um, traps sprung not by beavers on those, and the other one was 42 sprung not by beavers out of 221. So, you know, these, you know, th that's the good thing about those traps. And those cables that come with them, I absolutely love them. I actually like them so much, which I didn't think I would, that I, I just finished making a bunch for my Martin traps, too. Quick connects for my Martin traps. Um, you know, the d downside of them... The, they cost more. You know, a Duke at trap at uh, the 10 inch at North Bay is $20 a piece. The Savignos are not quite double that. They're like 36 bucks or something like that. I'm going off the top of my head. But out of those 12 traps I had, and then later on, only for about four days I had more than 12 set when I got that second dozen in. But I got 24 rats compared to three in the other trap, so 21 more rats. So even if I go 25 or 24 rats times $5 average, you know, that's almost the, the difference. By the end of next year, those traps will have paid for themselves in the extra ones in, in rats caught and and after any after that in the further years will uh, you know just be bonus 
but the other the other downfall of the traps the, the one negative that I could see is that I don't think I've ever in my life had a, a front foot ring off on a in a regular 330 or one of those dukes um, they just don't I've caught beaver by the back legs in them once in a while very rare but for a, a conny bear trap to close that tight that you can get a front foot ring off that's pretty spectacular um, but and in saying that that's you know it, it's not a good thing that we get front feet ring offs in them but out of 117 beaver um, you know two rung off and one which I caught again in, a, in another trap later on the other one never did see him again but I'll probably catch him next year when I go back there. Um, so, you know, yeah, more money. But I, and again, Dukes, you can't, they're 10 inch. Um, these are 11 by 12, that little bit of difference. And, and if I had been thinking, I would have put my cameras up, and I will next year to see the difference on, because I've got, you know, film of beavers not willing to go into the dukes getting up to the trap and turning around and going back um i never really thought much about it other than i think i just figured that they had just well they just came up and walked on the kind of screwed around at the beginning of the dam and then left but no they i think they balked at the trap and with these bigger traps i think there was a lot less of that oh and the one other um negative about these traps it's almost all neck shots, which is good, but the traps are so strong, you have to be very careful on the trap mark through the skin because it is very noticeable, and if you're not careful, you will cut through. That's how dry it, it gets. So, you know, that's just something to be beware of. But, you know, overall, I give a 9 out of 10 to those traps if I, you know, because... I can't give a 10 to 10, 10 out of 10 because nothing's absolutely perfect, but I won't buy another beaver trap other than those from now on. So, anyways, that's my product review on the uh, 70 11 by 12 inch Connie's. Alrighty, later.